I suppose uh, Steve Bannon is under the impression that Mike Lindell's money, his checks are still clearing. That's that's really what he's thinking. It's got to be. There's no other reason for this. Now, there are folks down in Fulton County. There are people in Philadelphia right now. There's people in Arizona from the whole, like, uh, you know, the, the, the gaggle of humans that are, is around Mike Lindell that are trying all the, uh, the uh, you know, forensic audits where they're looking for bamboo shoots and the ballots and all that kind of stuff. And the, the interesting thing that about this that I keep hearing from anybody who addresses this uh, is that ju- because you're addressing this, you must be scared. You must be nervous. You, I, so I must have struck a nerve. That, you know, it couldn't be that we see this as an attack on democracy and it's awful and uh, we're concerned for the uh, the cult members who might go too far and decide that they're, this, the, the tree of patriotism needs to be watered with the blood of, uh, you know, tyrants. And by tyrants, they mean, you know, election volunteers that work for the county every two years. Uh, that, it couldn't be that. It's that, oh my God, we really think there's something going on and they're going to catch us and trouble is good. And we're scared because Orange Man bad that President Trump is going to take over again and he's going to run things and the cabal is upset. Uh, That's, it couldn't, it couldn't possibly be that we're concerned that they fomented violence on January 6th and by continuing this bullshit, they are driving the same kind of people who went crazy on the 6th into even further fits of madness that will result in kind of Ted Kaczynski-esque uh, moments in our democracy, or uh, I, I guess the um, uh, really Timothy McVeigh zone of things. It's not that. It's a guy, we're just nervous. We're just, oh, they're going to catch us. Right, that's that's the the big fear. And, and that is, by the way, Steve Bannon's favorite rhetorical tool is the idea that um, if he lies nonstop and uh, Mike Lindell's, you know, like flicking money everywhere to get other people to like clamor for that money and lie on his behalf. And they're dry, they're drumming up all this BS all over the country to the point where they're actually doing, I think they're, they're planning a, an audit in Oklahoma, um, where Trump won hands down, right? Thir- by 30 some odd percent. They want out of there because they can't believe the, the popular votes, what's stacked against. They can't believe 30% of the populace in Oklahoma voted for Biden, even though it's right in line with the the Republican and Democratic uh, statistics in the state. It's not, uh, don't think about that. None of your business. What you need to know is that uh, they're, we're nervous. The, the left is nervous that they're going to catch everything. Okay, so they, and, and we're so nervous because August is approaching. <gasps> it's like winter is coming, but, uh, but dumber. It's uh, August is approaching, and that's when Mike Lindell said that Donald Trump was going to be back in office. Now, I'm going to change scenes right now. What you're going to see is shocking. Many of you have never seen an alcoholic butthole wearing headphones, a photo of it. It's frightening. You may never recover. You might want to turn away. It, I, I would recommend that you um, shield your... Yeah, there it is. That's that's it. That's pretty darn awful. Yeah. But, but you know, the, the, the health of our democracy relies on this very man. Um, who is, from a podcast he is doing in front of his mental piece on uh, Real America's Voice, a uh, an anti-China pro-channel... Pro anti-China pro-China channel on uh, I guess just Rumble. I guess they they've got their own channel on um, like Roku. You can download it, right? Yeah, Steve the Hut, um, who even though he is dealing again with the most serious of seriously serious issues. Uh, can't be bothered to shower. It's a, he's taking a page out of the uh, the the Dennis Miller book of how to treat your audience right. Now, granted, we're all watching him on video, so we don't have to be in studio smelling the boy. But uh, he's got on Mike Lindell because Mike Lindell is buying pillow ads on the show, and also uh, America Third. So let's see. 
I, I'm, I'm curious to hear what the new evidence is. I'm prepared to be shocked. I'm pre prepared to have my world rocked, as are you. <laughs> Say, hey, 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 serious now. We're taking this very seriously. Serious is seriousness, all right? <laughs> Bannon, what gonorrhea looks like under a microscope? That's mean to gonorrhea. <clears throat> um, all right, here we go. Let's, I'm curious, let's see. Broad, guess where in the cesspool that is the, um, the election uh, officials of Georgia, as Peter Navarro says, hard evidence today, Garland February 1030. We're gonna go there live with Real America's Voice. Todd Woods is gonna be in before. This is very exciting. This is, the, this is like NPR covering the Hindenburg. Beforehand, we've got Blake Masters, Blake just announced, very running exciting. for the United States Senate in Arizona. Oh. Blake Masters, also Colonel West. Packed show, so much to get through, but we're gonna start mm -hmm. with, by the way, John Frederick Radio and AM 1690 down in Atlanta, our new station down there. I want to welcome everybody okay, in Georgia. So, Massive breaking. So, by the way, uh, Steve Bannon is trying to take over, in Georgia, uh, and uh, like along with uh, like Bongino and others, the Rush Limbaugh spot. The problem they have is that you know Bongino is is just not the man. Sean Hannity probably has the best shot at it, just because of his sycophantic crowd. And Bannon's just that. So it's really not gonna. Like, I don't see, I don't know who fills the slot. I mean, by the way, of all of them, if you had to pick, you'd never seen Rush Limbaugh, but you had to pick him out of a lineup based on what you know of his character and his, uh, you know, use of substances. More than likely, if it was, you know, Tucker Carlson, Sean Hannity, Bongino, and Bannon, you would go, that, that's that got to be Rush Limbaugh, right? That's got to be him, right? And then other news coming from Arizona. Got to start with Mike Lindell. Mike, um... Uh, yeah. Uh, why? Why do you have? Why do you have to start with Mike Lindell? Oh, because he's paying for all this. That's right. Just, just clear. MSNBC up. has now decided that you're you're the cause of uh, of all this turmoil in the nation. That you're 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 the ultimate bad guy because of what you're doing and all your analysis data. Remember? N no, no, Steve. They do not. No one at MSNBC thinks Mike Lindell is that important. Honest to God, like this is. This is the top of it. Him, me doing his shit on my show, is the is the top level of seriousness that anybody takes Mike Lindell. I'm, I mean, that isn't a sycophantic follower. That isn't Roseanne. You know what I'm saying? That isn't a former Q adrift in a sea of horseshit. That I I'm it. I don't, and I don't even think he's that dangerous. But certainly MS uh, NBC doesn't. Like they're not. They don't think they he's the he's the joke point. You could argue that Mike Lindell is one of the biggest factors why the news is not taking this stuff seriously. I'm not kidding. If if Mike Pillow actually wanted to contribute to the cause of, you know, finding out voter fraud and overturning the election and reinstalling Trump as the dictator for life in line with his two buddies, uh, Xi Jinping and uh, and uh, Vladimir Putin, um, if he really wanted to help, and Mike, I know some of your people are listening. They're, you can tell they're the ones with headphones on, snickering, looking at their phone nearby. Yeah, that it, they'll pass this on. It, can you, one of you guys, pass this on to Mike? If Mike wanted to help, he would he would just pay for shit and never go on camera, because nobody screws the pooch. For this whole endeavor, maybe Rudy Giuliani, maybe, maybe Rudy Giuliani is a worse spokesperson for this, but even he has backed away from it. I mean, he's got other issues, but all right, well, we'll see. I remember just for the audience. The yes, Roseanne Barr. Roseanne Barr, for those of you that haven't been with us for very long, we've covered some of Roseanne's videos. She's She went full Q, and then after Q, it was revealed by moi, and then later by HBO and other sources, who Q was, Ron and Jim Watkins' father-son team, um, she she went offline, basically. she I mean, There was a moment of like, that was going to be an awakening. She bought some shit from somebody else for like a day, posted half a video, and then foof, gone again. It's the ground game is in Arizona. The other uh, Another third recount going on with the tripartite full forensic audit out there one part of that is the machines but the basic driving force of that is asshole the third one the third recount is because they want to count the shit they get back from these people
They have to make sure that the stuff you return is the same as the stuff they gave you. That's not another recount. That's not a sign that they didn't trust the election. That's a sign that they don't trust you. Is the forensic uh, audit of the ballots. Garland Favorito is going to show you today, Georgia, the old fashioned way in uh, Fulton County and other places throughout the state of which they violated state law, the old fashioned way, not dealing with really machines or, or cyber. Mike Lindell is the air game. He's got this. Uh, th He's the air game. It, that's no way to talk about the space between Mike's ears. That's just rude. Theory of the case. He says he can prove he's got the data to back it up. And he's <laughs> going to go three days in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, the 10th. Why is he suing Falls, South Dakota? I've never been to Falls, South Dakota. It seems lovely. <laughs> uh, Bannon looks like he's been in several bar fights just today. Yikes. Lindell. Wow. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, he's uh, he's what we call in the business a mess. Um, a hot mess, um, of which, by the way, we have more more uh, hot mess stories in a little bit. Um, but I suppose I should have those up. The uh, wow, you know what I mean. So okay, let's let's continue. Tenth, eleventh, and twelfth of August to prove it. Uh, so, Mike, why are, why is MSNBC saying you're the new uh, you're the new uh, you're the new devil? You're stirring up insurrection. You're a bad guy. You're a dangerous guy. Why is yeah, that's how they're talking about him. He's a dangerous guy. MSNBC on you, sir. Well, they, it's I guess nothing's let up, but now they, as soon as I, you know, now that I'm having this symposium to just lay it all on the table, I believe that they're just afraid. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm shaking in my boots. I this if this symposium is anywhere near as technical and well thought out as uh, absolute proof, absolute evidence. Absolute nine zero or absolute uh, what was the other one? Turd blossom. I forget the fourth one. Was there? It was a fourth. The third one was really a shortened version of the second one. But uh, or no, was the second one a shortened version of the first one? I don't know. We've done them all and they all bridge together. I'm I'm uh, very upset that you're going to be uh, I guess raiding a geek squad at a Best Buy. And uh, they and MSNBC did not call him a devil. I don't know what. I maybe they're referring to somebody going. Yeah, he's nuts. This is dangerous stuff. And they're going, he's the most dangerous, you know what I mean? should be happy because whether you're a Democrat or Republican, this is going to unite the country and show that this- Have they accepted, have, have they have, have they have- Yeah, say it again. Back up. You know what I mean? By the way, uh, add this to the clip reel of uh, Steve Bannon has got, has got dementia and can't put a thought together. So I can do my, you know, A-being- their uh, Biden clips. Accepted your invitation to come. Are they scheduled to come to we're, Sioux Falls on the 10th? Yeah, the MSNBC folks are definitely, they can't, they're beating down the door. Um, I want to go. Can I go? Can I live stream from there? 11, 12, is MSNBC we're, said we're, they're coming with a team to go through your data? A team. Yeah, they're, gonna, yeah, they're sending, we got some top-notch people. We're getting them all out in the next two days. The, uh... Yeah, any anytime right after the in the next two days all the invitations and we'll be reaching out to everyone oh okay so you're guys they're getting the invitations out in the next two days and it'll get there in the mail in a week then you can look at your schedule see if you know you got the time what are like if you could shoehorn somebody in one in the media remember everybody uh there's no pu it's not public uh this is uh this what what why is it not public what are you hiding Cyber, cyber forensic experts that we'll be reaching out to, and the uh, the media. And when I say public media or media, you got to have credentials. You can't just you know be you know we're going to be they're going to be very thoroughly checked out. And then also oh so uh, so Steve Bannon can't come because he's not real media. Is that what you're saying? All the politicians. Uh, I've definitely, I've definitely been um, denied. I can't get a laminate clearly from this. Your state senators, your governors, your secretary of states, your attorney generals. We're going to have them all there. And uh, I've had hundreds of requests already, Steve. Um, yeah, hundreds, almost dozens. From politicians. So there's a great, everybody Thanks, wants Amy. to find out what's going, you know, to, to see all this. And um, I had, I got it. Yeah, they, yeah, everybody wants to come. Into it with the reporter at CPAC, too. They, uh, they're attacking me from every angle here, trying to, um, you know, discredit. I was on the phone with one yesterday from Bloomberg, and this guy's going, I go, what do you know? I go, um, 
No, I, you know, I am, I'm pr putting this all out there. Uh -huh. You guys can come. Yeah. And he's just trying to discredit everything. Okay. No, 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 no to self, no to self, Mike Lindell. They don't care. In fact, today, the reason, right. why do you think MFC, this is information warfare. Why is MSNBC all of a sudden singling Mike Lindell and he's talking? They're not. They tacitly mention him because he's a character. Because the fact that Mike Pillow is the guy funneling money into this bullshit is fucking hilarious. That's why. That's the only reason. Okay? Seriously, there, there are dozens of other assholes linked to this thing. None of them hug a pillow for a living in infomercials ads on your network and buy their way onto every right-wing network with ads. Do you not understand how batshit that is? Of course he's the person who's getting name dropped. And name dropped. He's fucking ridiculous. He's they he's cracked out of his fucking gourd. Talking about August and he's talking about the president because they understand they don't want to deal with what's happening in Arizona right now. They don't, they're not going to cover That's Garland right. Favorito's press conference at 1030. They don't want to see that you've got experts. And by the way, you're putting the data out there. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, then you... you yeah, then you, buy, you come back, you buy some more ads. We pretend you've got a case. We, we drag you around by your nose, Mike. And uh, we pay for this show for, uh, you know, the next six months based on you uh, buying my, my pillow ads. And all I got to do is kiss your rosy ass about once every three days and make fun of you to your fucking face. Mike Bannon, Mike, Mike Bannon, listen to me. Steve Bannon makes fun of Mike Pillow to his fucking face and then rolls an ad for My Pillow into his broadcast. Sn we've seen it. You guys have seen this with me. Steve Bannon doesn't buy this bullshit. You wasted time and money. They don't want to see that. They, they have no interest in that. What they have an interest is demonizing you. That's what they have an interest right. in, demonizing you and every... No, no, no. By the way, for the record, I don't know anybody who's going, Mike Pillow is evil. They're all going, what a deluded sap. Seriously. I, it's kind of amazing. It's kind of a special thing that when people talk about Mike Pillow, they don't, they don't go, this, that, you know, they don't talk to, about him like Jim Jordan and, uh, you know, wrestling team sexual assaults uh, or the like. They don't talk about him in those terms. They talk about him like, this guy's, he might be insane and other people are stealing his money on this madness. He actually kind of comes out as, as a lovable simp in this. Am I not right? Like that every time. Yes, and absolutely Bannon is exploiting this guy who Bannon believes is mentally not all there, for the record. N no bullshit, okay? Steve Bannon thinks Mike Pillow is an idiot and might be mentally damaged. And he is just clinging and titting off him for to keep his show on the air, and it's gross. Everybody that follows you is that do is that do you understand this point yet that they're not they're not oh, oh, there yeah. to be fair they're not gonna put they're not gonna put reporters on here they're calling say yeah Mike I really thought that interesting I remember your data from the first movie and I, you know does it compare right. that's not the, they don't care they haven't read it they haven't looked at it. they're not gonna look at it. they're not gonna I watched all of them fuck you Steve Bannon I watched all of them I went through them all the way I did them live streamed in front of everybody I stand by what I said I stand by everything I called out. Steve Bannon has not watched these fucking things, okay? For the record, I, I'm calling you out, Steve Bannon. There is no way you watched all four of those stupid docu-movies. There's no way. N not po and, and I don't even think he would claim that. I'm not going to read it. They don't care. They don't want to see the fact. No, uh, all of them. All the way through. All, I watched all of them, Aaron, uh, and Cognito in our chat room. And you guys know it because I did it live on the air. That's why when you say unite the country, that's maybe a coin flip. <laughs> because I think well, it's a lot of I've vested interest that's saying, I don't like Mike Lindell and I don't like what Mike Lindell's doing. What do you say? Bullshit. Has nothing, as a matter of fact, I got to admit, I kind of like this dipshit. I feel sorry for him. Never, and like even in doing all my shows, one of the reasons why we laugh so much is because I don't actually treat him like a genuine threat. Steve Bannon's fucking gross. Steve Bannon is an awful human being. 
Mike Lindell, I, I, I have to say, I, I feel like when I'm talking about somebody with CTE. You say, sir. Well, I'm talking about the people, uniting the people. When I go down the streets or whatever, I never have anybody. P.S. That is uh, Jesus behind a lion. So I don't know why the, the lion gets top billing. I think that's... I think that is the weirdest of the Left Behind uh, movies, the Left Behind the Lion King, where Jesus comes back and the, and is held up by Joseph and they go, like, you know, it's very odd. But he come up with insanity. But for the record, Kirk Cameron is awesome in it. Anything bad or attack me or anything, it's all the media. It's all the media, and they're putting out some narrative. Mike said Donald Trump will be back in on August 13th. I never said that. No, you said he would be back in in August, and then you said mid-August. And Don't back away from your bullshit. Buddy, come on. I said after we do this symposium on the 10th, 11th, and 12th, anybody that watches this by the morning of the 13th, it's going to be the talk of the world going, hey, we need to get this election taken down, and we are. We're going to get it to the Supreme Court, and I've said, said it before i believe uh i believe our donald trump will be back in august september it'll be you know that's it'll be hold, 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 but, 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 but hang over hang over a second you're getting ahead of yourself step one you're gonna show the data to prove right. it that it's irrefutable yeah totally that's step one right you show the world 100%. okay so irrefutable then 100 percent, 100 percent. what was the software again? Q snatch that's right what all right um 100 you're gonna show the data Forever legal theory you guys have, you're gonna to get to the Supreme Court. Hey, I'm yep. not a legal scholar, but you say I got a legal theory. I got lawyers and spend time and money. We're gonna get the Supreme it's already Court. Already ready to go. The evidence. Ready to yeah, it's do. It's ready to go. But we're doing the symposium. It's more like a PR thing. I mean, the law doesn't give a rat's ass about whether or not a, gr a large group of people care or not. Uh, it's it would be really whether it's in line with the law or in line with the Constitution. Who one would think? But apparently. The key to this is get another January 6th stirred up so that they, they have to at least give lip service to it. The evidence is going to be so overwhelming that it's going to be a 9 0. Totally. Oh, that's, in fact, your movie's name, 9 0. And after yeah. con contingent upon. Look at him. He's fucking laughing at him again. It's happening again. Watch Steve Bannon. He's like, and then it's going to be, uh, you know, contingent upon 9 0. Look at that. Look. 9-0. He, Steve, he's watching you. He's on camera. You can't talk about him like you talk about him the rest of the time when he's actually there. And you you believe that the Supreme Court that then going to somehow reverse the uh, 2020 election and Donald Trump will be back. Is that that's your theory of the case, correct? It's not it's not a theory. It's been done before. There's a precedent for this. There is. Oh, that's right. I remember when uh Taft gotten that uh, it was kicked off Twitter. Every elected official in our country that they find out later that it doesn't matter if it's a month later, a year later, whatever it is, if they right. find a crime has been committed, i.e. election fraud, they put the real winner back in place. Okay. No, they don't. Ask Al Gore. <laughs> By the way, the real winner is already in place. It's been done. It's just never happened at the presidential level. Right. So we're bringing that, that, a cold war to the it, Supreme it, Court, it, and we're it, get, it, we're letting them off the hook, right. Steve. Look, look at the two of them. Because they don't even have. They just look at it and say, "Yep, hundred percent, right. it's true." Nine zero. Okay. <laughs> That's it. I mean, Elena Kagan's gonna go. Oh my God, mind blown. Had no idea. Why didn't I see this before? And why have I not been sleeping on a my pillow this whole time? But step one is you got to bring the receipts. You got to bring, like I said, you're the air game. The ground game is Whoa. working. But Arizona's working, and Georgia's now working. Oh, yeah, and you're going to see that oh. there's a firefight with Shapiro in Pennsylvania. They don't want to get near the Philadelphia, Philadelphia, Fulton County, Maricopa County, are all one and the same. And by the way, it's not Democrats. It has nothing to do with ethnicity. Yeah, uh, don't spill the beans, Steve. It's because they're black cities. It's because there's a lot of black voters, and you don't think they have the right to vote. Period. End of story. Your race. The, 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 the white Republicans in Maricopa are, are, are just as in, more incompetent, I think, than in Fulton County and in Philadelphia. So this has nothing to do with party. This is the... <laughs>
Yeah, you mean the white people in control of the black cities that you have a problem with because the black people didn't vote the way you wanted them to? Uniparty. Or, or at all. And that's Absolutely. what they're going after. Mike, any breaking news? We got So your point is the first step, nothing matters. If you can't show the data, and there's a lot of controversy right. about that. There's people. Yeah, controversy. That's a good word. Saying, you know, good guys saying, hey, I don't think Mike's got it right. But you know, I've watched uh, Bear Grylls. I know that you can technically, if you're uh, lost in the desert or in the jungle or something and you're lacking water, you can drink water from an elephant turd. But there's a lot of controversy about whether or not you want to do it <laughs> on a personal level. Right, but we'll take... It's a controversial... <laughs> it's a controversial position. Look, if you right. deliver the receipts... You believe it starts a chain of events that ultimately leads with Donald Trump coming back before 2024. Right. Is that is that one, your theory? 100 percent. It's Donald Trump 2021. That's that's what they had to cut away from Steve Bannon because he had to hit his cough button and start laughing. There were signs everywhere the other okay. that I was seeing. Okay. But I want to tell everybody this. Yeah, we... uh, that was an interesting little uh, Freudian slip. I want to sell everybody this. And he meant to say tell. But he said sell. I find that interesting. Thanks, Robert. <laughs> yeah, what I have is the packet captures. We have all the packet. Oh, fuck. We're relying on the packet capture shit again? <sighs> you guys can see my previous uh, Mike Pillow videos if you want to go back over the whole packet capture thing. Captures for the election. Captures. So that's why it's non subjective evidence. This, and now, if you didn't have them, then uh -huh. you do audits yeah. the other way, like they're doing in Arizona, yeah. Georgia, and everywhere. And you, you're going to prove it proves exactly the same thing. They, they, I, they. That uh, grifters are selling you um, a bunch of bullshit because you seem to have a never ending supply of idiot money. Line up, it's identical. And, uh, yeah. we, and I've said it before, okay. this isn't a. Except where, uh, let's say, in the packet capture stuff that they were showing, which largely shows um, a mixture of shit they made up and inserted, and um, media organizations the world over checking on the updates from certain crucial counties to see, they basically like refreshing a page to see who's winning and who's losing. And as the count goes down and it's clear that Trump is losing in these areas, they're like, holy shit, is, they, is that going to change? And they're refreshing and refreshing and refreshing. And so you see all this activity around these particular pages. And you know, and then at the end of it, he's going to say that that's, them, that's not Germany going, fuck, is Trump losing? And refreshing the page. And it's just a media organization checking the updates on the Secretary of State's uh, they, that's actually right into the machine. Somebody's refreshing inside the machines, like somebody in Germany. God damn, this is dumb. It's not about uh, a Republican or Democrat. You said it yourself. Look at Georgia. I think there's more uh, corruption down there with uh, Republicans blocking, like your Brian Kemp's blocking Amen. and obstructing. You know. Okay. Okay. Uh, any news on Sioux Falls? We got to bounce. Uh, any yeah, news on? We got to bounce. We're, falls head, people need we're heading out there. Right when I get off the show, we're heading out there to go through the center and check it all out. And I'll have some. Make sure that it's not, uh, there's no Wi Fi hookups in there, that nobody can get in there with a thumb drive and fuck with everything. You're going to make, you're going to do a sweep of the whole thing. Make sure nobody, there are no bugs. Um, I've never been to Sioux Falls, North Dakota. I'll have some great big, or great news tomorrow. Uh, but we're uh, yeah yeah it's tomorrow I mean I should have been on the show tomorrow actually you know what Steve that was my bad um I should I, I shouldn't have come on as a guest you just should have said like hey you want to come on today and we'll talk uh, about your bullshit I should have gone no tell you what I'll have more bullshit tomorrow I'm not gonna be on the show tomorrow but I'll have some great news tomorrow I'm basically saying the same shit I've said for weeks today but we're touring it today and uh, getting everything set up, all the logistics. We'll have all news for you tomorrow with uh, uh, and invitations, everything. So yeah, what color are they? Are they are like, I, uh, are, is it bone colored? Are they nice to the, are, is it a single card, which I think is classy? Or are you doing the full open card? I'm very curious about that stuff. Is there, is, is the, what's the gift bag like? That's what, as a media person, that's what I want to know. Some people that have already committed to be to coming, and uh, that's big news, and we'll tell you all about it. Let me guess, OAN, Newsmax, uh, Mike Lindell, or sorry, uh, my, uh, Steve Bannon is sending somebody from the war room, uh, Sebastian Gorka, he's got some free time that weekend. Tomorrow. 
We're going to tease that we're going to have a very special announcement with Mike Lindell tomorrow. Very special at the top of the show. So very exciting. I, it's a very special. Everybody's yep. got to tune. Mike Lindell will be back here tomorrow at 10. Okay, Mike, thank you very much. Epic. All right, we're thanks. not going to let MSNBC pick on you too much. Okay. Epic. We're not going to let MSNBC pick on you too much. Yeah, it, thanks, Steve. Thanks. Uh, it's It's nice to know that the right wing doesn't have any snowflakes among them that can't uh, stand up to, I guess, uh, scrutiny or criticism from the mainstream, the, I'm sorry, the lamestream media.